Hello and welcome to an overview of API-led integration using MuleSoft and Reltio. MuleSoft encourages customers to organize their APIs in the way that you see represented here with experience APIs at the highest level, calling process APIs which in turn are orchestrating the efforts of different systems in order to achieve the objectives. So if for example I wanted to get a complete customer 360, I'll have a process API whose purpose is to gather the data from the respective systems, organize it, and then send it back to the experience API in order to be utilized. So the first point in that journey will be to go to Reltio, understand who the customer is, then we can take it from there. So when we think about that, we want to understand the customer across all available sources. Reltio is the place to go to get that knowledge, understand the customer's consent, Coming in from all of those different channels where it may have been captured, presented, Reltio is the place to go to get the answer to those questions. And then some other information about the connected customer profile that you will typically find inside of Reltio. Breaking this down further, we're going to query Reltio using a number of different available pieces of data that we will have captured from um, the experience API. And then coming back from Reltio is going to be a, a plethora of data that includes the keys to the customer from across all of the other systems and sources, the multi-channel communication consent that's been afforded, and any additional information um, as, as required. And it's point 2.1 point here that we're going to take a look at in some more depth. There is an available Reltio MuleSoft connector, and I'm going to be making use of that connector here. The connector simplifies integration development with Reltio by packaging up Reltio API calls as different tasks that you see represented here in the MuleSoft AnyPoint Studio. So in MuleSoft AnyPoint Studio, this is what such a flow could look like, where we are taking a number of different approaches to seeking to identify our customer. So we have get entity by crosswalk, this is where we're able to leverage any customer source system specific ID. Alternatively, if we don't have an ID from a source system, we're going to use other available data attributes to query Reltio for this customer. And if we can't find the customer at this point, then we're going to go to a second category of interaction, which is to call Reltio's matching API, uh, which can then potentially reveal fuzzy matches where an exact match was not able to be found. So in terms of demonstrating this, I'm going to simulate that I am the API that is responsible for a Get Customer 360, and I'm going to be pinging this Reltio Get Enterprise Customer API. And in this specific example, I'm going to be using a demo app to interact with this API. So this API is deployed in the MuleSoft cloud, and it's going to be leveraging those different Reltio APIs um, as necessary. Before we start, this is the Reltio user interface, and this is at one of the target records I am going to seek to interact with using these API calls. So here's my customer, they have a whole bunch of multi-channel communication consent, various other pieces of information here, as well as their contact attributes, phone number, address, multiple email addresses here. And if we take a look behind the scenes, we'll see that we've encountered this customer from across a number of different sources. I've got a legacy MDM source here. I've got my website with its own unique ID for this customer, a point of sale system who understands this customer to have a different ID, and then my mobile app, uh, yet another uh, identifier here, as well as a contribution coming in from Axiom. So this is my demo app. Each time I place a call to the MuleSoft API, I'm going to be sending a payload that looks like this, and we'll see what responses come back from that MuleSoft API. So let's start with a situation where on behalf of a particular application, which has already identified who it thinks this customer is, we're going to go into Reltio and get the rest of the data. So if I call get customer here, we can see here's the prepared um, call that we're sending into this target in MuleSoft's Cloud Hub. And here's the result that's actually coming back via that API, but in fact, um, from, from Reltio ultimately. And so we've got our Ronnie Bala customer together with their contact points, phone numbers, addresses, together with additional cleansing metadata, email addresses, multi-channel communication consent, no consent given for this 
uh, particular phone number, SMS consent has been given for this particular phone number, and so on. And then over here on the right hand side, the crosswalks have come back. And in fact, these are the things that we just saw in the Relteo user interface. So Legacy MDM knows the customer under this ID. The website knows the customer as this ID and the mobile app, which if I scroll down, knows the customer via this ID. And that of course corresponds to my original query. That's how we found the customer. And that's why you see this message, customer found using source and ID, which of course is just an, uh, an example message so that we can uh, easily demonstrate what's going on here. Now if I change the parameters in this screen here, which I could have manually type in, but let's just go fetch a different representation. So here are the keys to a customer using the website as the source. I get customer again. The response is the same. Customer was found using source and ID. You can see that the query went in with this different shape, but we still found exactly the same customer. Now let's change this to um, just the exact attributes. So now I've got no customer ID on behalf of a source application. I'm just going to query using these various attributes. Now we found the customer using exact attribute matches. And then let's do this one more time where I've corrupted some of these data. So if I search by exact attributes, one of these criteria is going to not work and therefore we won't find the customer using all exact attributes match. And we're going to get into the realm of needing fuzzy queries. So now I call get customer and we see that the customer was found using a match rule. In this case, the exact match on first name, last name, and an exact or null match on email. Let's just change this to somebody else completely. Here we found Leanne Clark's using just these data fragments here. If I get rid of this string here, again, we find the same customer. That concludes the demo. Thanks very much for your attention.